There's some more snow headed our way, maybe not for the places we just talked about that are uh, having big business in snowmobiling and skiing, but Keith, uh, the rest of us will get some. Yeah, mainly the coastline. I can confirm I was in range last week. A lot, of, a lot more sleds at the gas station than cars, so that tells you something. Let's have a look at the uh, radar right now. We've got most of the storm to our south and east, and that's where it's generally going to stay. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days, but we got a little piece that's broken off across upstate New York and into Vermont, and that's having a hard time getting down to the surface because the dew points are too low, so the air is just a little bit too dry to get the snow down to the ground yet, but eventually tonight we might see a couple of snow showers as the column of air saturates. It's certainly cold enough for snow, and that's one thing, you know, this is not a big system by any stretch, but after the mess that we had earlier in the week, the positive here for sure is that this is an all snow situation. It's just going to be too cold for anything else. So uh, later on tonight into early tomorrow morning, some light snow moves into New Hampshire and far southern Maine, and I think by tomorrow morning, it is really just a southern Maine situation. Maybe some of the islands that are seeing some periods of light snow, and we try to rotate one of these bands back in through the afternoon to the mid coast and perhaps into down east Maine. They're right on the edge of the influence of this system, but you'll notice that snow band never really gets all that far inland, and you'll see that reflected in our snowfall map. Most of the heavy stuff is out over the ocean with no real impacts, but we're accounting for one moderate band just kissing the coastline. If that doesn't happen, then we'll be on the low end of our snowfall range. If it does, we should still be in good shape. All this moves out late tomorrow night and into early Saturday. So again, the three is for if that moderate band can get to the coast. The one is for if it doesn't. So I think this is a good place to be. Cody to an inch and then Bangor North, really almost nothing. Three to six south of York and to uh, New Hampshire and Massachusetts where they'll see more in the way of accumulation. Quiet over the weekend, next storm system moves in. Monday night into Tuesday. It doesn't look like it has a ton of energy. It's not a closed off low again, but it's going to be a little bit warmer thermally. So we'll be looking probably at a mix along the coastline, if not just rain and then snow, hopefully into the mountains and foothills. We'll uh, nail that down as we get a little bit closer. Got to get this system through first. Weekend looks good. I like Sunday a lot because it's uh, the sunnier of the two weekend days and it's just a tad bit warmer as well. Temperatures start to moderate in general. You'll notice as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday into the low 40s and then the scattered snow shower on Thursday. The models hugely diverge late next week, Pat, to the tune of uh, the GFS having us in the upper 40s and the European model having us shovel snow. <laughs> so we'll see who wins that battle uh, as we get a little closer. Question is, is there snow on Mars? Because when the Perseverance rover landed this afternoon, the first image kind of looked like they needed to shovel around it. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's been up there for a while, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.